Hey guys, here's a bit more information on the tone control section and the tweeter tone of the BH500. So tone controls are pretty standard stuff, so I won't spend a lot of time explaining that because I'm sure you all know what that's about. It's on pretty much any bass amp. So we have the four tone controls, bass, low mid, high mid, treble. The only thing that I am going to say is that the treble control in BH500 is a little bit special compared to most other trebles. Uh, what it does is that it you know when you want to boost uh, high frequencies, uh, that's typically one area, while if you want to remove some of that, it's typically a different area. So what we've done is that we've decided that once when you boost, it's a higher part of the high frequency range than if you want to cut something. So basically it's grabbing your sound at two different frequencies that uh, are tuned to match bass sounds in general. So that's kind of the, the very quick overview of the tone controls. Now, tweeter tone is what I really wanted to tell you guys about, because that's kind of a, an uncommon control on, uh, on most bases. The reason for us designing a tweeter tone, or the idea for the tweeter tone, came from the fact that we were discussing why you have a, a high frequency level control on the backside of your cabinets. And we kind of thought, well, that's a bit odd, because it's, it is a little bit uh, difficult to actually hear something if you have to dial your HF from the back side of the cabinet. So we thought, well, why not put it up on the front panel? Uh, and we did that on our BT500 combo in the first place. Uh, now, you might wonder why or how it's possible for me to have a tweeter control on an amp that's separate from the cabinet, because there's only a speaker cable between these two boxes, right? Now, the thing is that tweeter tone doesn't actually turn up and down the HF or tweeter uh, as you know, the power resistor on the back side of the, your cabinet. What it does do is that it emulates or recreates what happens if you dial that knob on the back side of your cabs. Only now you can do it from the front panel and you could basically hear what's going on and you can decide what you want to do and you could even tweak it on the fly while you're playing. So basically what it does is that it recreates that same shape, only we've done it a little more, we've voiced it to be hopefully a little more uh, fit for bass. Um, so you have that control right at your fingertips. Now the really cool thing about having a control like this on the front panel of a BH500 is that this is also stored in a preset. So you could have one sound where you really open it up uh, entirely with tweeter tone and add all the, the high frequencies that you want uh, and get those out of the tweeter and you store that on one preset, and the next preset that you have, or the second sound that you have, might have no high frequency coming out of the tweeter, or just, just less than what your first preset was in the first place. So, in other words, it's not only that you can control it from the front panel, but it's also on the preset control, so you can recall it and store it and everything. So, the basic idea is that we've done a, a standard tuning uh, that is very much in line with all the other aims that we've done, which is kind of where we think that it sits for general purpose bass playing. So, just a quick taste of that. So I'm now on my back pickup, so my humbucker pickup. And if I dial it all the way up, uh, you can probably hear that some of the, uh, the string noise and stuff like that comes out quite a bit clearer. Hear that? Now if I wanted to go the opposite way, I could dial this and just back it up a little bit. I mean if I go all the way here it's probably going to be darkened up a bit too much, so I'm just rolling off a little bit uh, to get me a slightly more closed or a little more vintage sound as if I, I turned down the tweeter or maybe didn't even have a tweeter in, uh, in my cabinet. So that sounds a bit like this. If you want to check out uh, more tracks, go to some of the audio tracks that we've done and you'll get a much better taste and much more details on what the tweeter zone sounds like.